Crypto mats are often a necessity for compositing. In this video, we'll look at the different ways that they can be added to Karma renders. All right, let's take a look at the crypto mat section of our supplied hip file. Uh, in here, you're gonna see that we have the noise sampler scene again, um, and we have a Karma render settings. Now this is where we're gonna start kind of investigating how to add crypto mats into our render. So the way that we do this is we come down to the extra render vars uh, section that we were looking at in the last video, and we're going to use this drop down and go way to the bottom. We can see here we have two options. I'm gonna add the object name, and I'm gonna scroll down a little more and we're gonna add the material name. And so what this is gonna do is this is going to be using um, the name and material name um, kind of as a, as a uh, primvar input, um, which basically just means an attribute that's on these primitives in our scene. Um, and it's gonna be using those as kind of the seed value for this crypto mat, right? And so with that in mind, um, depending on which object the pixel is is representing it's either it's going to take the name or the material name and give a random color to that uh, object or that pixel so let's take a look at what that looks like so here's our crypto object this is all the different objects in the scene um, and we can also switch over here to the crypto material and now these are the different uh, materials represented as colors in our scene and so um, again like I said we're basically looking at um, whatever the um, the object is underneath or the material is underneath and kind of using that as a seed value to generate these colors. Now these um, crypto mats are really, really useful when you're doing compositing effects because you can use these individual colors, these kind of unique colors, to uh, focus in on different areas, to mask different areas in your composite um, for different effects and things like that. So it can be really, really helpful in that case. We're actually going to use it um, within this course to identify some noise, but um, it, there's obviously other uses for it as well. All right, so let's turn these off and take a look at a couple other options here. So the Karma Crypto Mat node is also an option for adding crypto mats in your scene. Now this gives you a couple more options as well. Um, by default, it comes with these two checked on, the primitives and material. So we're gonna look at these again and we're gonna see the primitives are there and the materials are here as well. Uh, so um, this is you know, basically the exact same thing we had before. Um, now, the other thing that we can add here that we can actually take a look at is kind. Now, primvar, uh, this one basically is if there's an attribute on these uh, primitives, it could pull that in and generate a crypto mat from that. We don't have that in our scene, so I'm just gonna leave that as is, but we can take a look at this kind option as well. So what you can see now is this adds crypto kind component. And what that's basically saying is um, we're basically adding uh, this crypto kind and pulling the whatever kind it is into the end of that name. So right now it's basically saying any of these that are different components are going to have different colors, right? And each component are these blue stars here. So that's basically saying that these are all different components. Now, if we change this to something like, oh, say a uh, group, um, now these are all under the same group. They're all under this primitive world. So because of that, uh, they're actually all going to be the same color in our scene. Sorry, I had a little misclick there. Um, so let's take a look at this crypto kind group. And we can now see that these are all in the exact same group, so they're all gonna be the same color. So we can't really differentiate them in that uh, regard. But you know, maybe if you have these in different groups, that could be helpful for you. So in this case, um, we basically get everything as one color, so not super helpful. Um, but the component one does work, and so do these other ones. I'm just gonna check that off for now, and I'm gonna mute this, and, or bypass it, and we're gonna come up here to this additional render vars uh, that we're gonna wire into our, our second input. And so here you can see we can import render vars from second input, that's checked on. So all I need to do is just unbypass this, and we have two uh, crypto uh, mats that are defined in here. And these are really the same as the extra render vars section of our uh, Karma render settings node. So it's really very similar. Again, gives you a couple extra little, um, you know, a couple extra parameters in here that you can check, but that's really about it. And um, we're getting the crypto material, the crypto object. And again, if we check here uh, and here, they're gonna look the exact same as they did before. So just another way that you can add this. So these are the three different options that you have. It's just good to know where to find them and maybe which ones have a little bit more flexibility than others and how they differ from each other. In the next video, we're gonna start jumping into how to identify noise in our renders. Um, and that's really done through a bunch of uh, specific AOVs and also by adding crypto mats into our scene.